Hey, it's Master Life Coach Dante Sears Geyer. I am also a hypnotherapist, and I want to talk to you today about what it takes to attract amazing things into your life. You know, you might say that you want this better life and you want your life to improve, right? And you might be even thinking that and um, trying to manifest it in your life, but it's not happening for you for some reason. And so if that's the thing that's happening for you, you know, you watch all of these videos that tell you be positive and use all these affirmations, but for some reason it's just not working for you. Well, generally there are some things that you are doing, whether it's a memory that you have or some sort of past trauma that's blocking you from finding that inner happiness. And so what I want to do with these videos is I want to give you the opportunity to um, work on yourself personally because, you know, I see with my clients all the time that they're a little shy to share some of their personal details and they're worried you know some people might not want to come to a hypnotherapist because they think that somehow i'm going to know their secrets and um, of course i don't know any secrets that you don't want to share with me i'll never be able to get those from you but i think that a modicum of privacy is necessary for people because you know one thing that people across the board I see have a problem with it causes the most pain and stress in their life tends to be secrets and secrets are your worst enemy really they are because if someone is holding this secret so deeply within themselves and they really think this thing about themselves let's say that you know it's something you did when you were young you were 15 years old and you beat up some old lady let's just say okay I don't know but it's just something terrible or it could even be something small like um, you cheated on a test but depending on how you value yourself and what you think about yourself that thing could be devastating to you or it could be absolutely hilarious and uh, nobody thinks beating up an old lady is hilarious okay mind you um, but the thing is is that when you don't talk about these secrets that you have with people you don't express them you don't try to fix them and you hold them in then you start to look at the world differently and unfortunately one thing that holding in secrets does is it um it takes away your light you know when, when you want to be more beautiful the thing that's beautiful about people is the light that's in their eyes that's that's in their personality the lightness of the way that they move that they're smooth that they're they're excited and it, and you and it shows well when you're holding on to secrets you're worried that people are going to see that in you and you're constantly hoping they can't see your secret whatever it is that you're not confident or you know that um like i said you you cheated on a test that got you into Harvard, let's say, you know, who cares, right? Because now whatever that thing is, it made you who you are. It made you who you are today, good and bad. So what you need to do is, A, you need to just think about what that thing is that you're hiding. And I want you to review it now as a person that is today, how old you are. And review it from a place of logic. And I want you to see if you could find people who identify with that secret you have. You know, Google it on the internet and see how many people actually are suffering from this thing that you're so worried about. And nine times out of ten, I bet you that it's something that there are just millions of people that have the same exact problem as you. But identifying yourself in a way of realizing that you're just human and you made a mistake and that mistake has made you who you are and the minute that you're ready to take responsibility for that thing whatever it is and say hey you know I was X years old back then and I was using the best judgment that I had right but now you have much better judgment and the moment that you say to yourself I'm older and wiser and of course I'm gonna judge things a lot better is the moment that you are able to you're blocking yourself from learning you're blocking yourself from um, 
from that greatness that is within you because you are holding so tightly to this. You know, for me, my secret, one of them was, I thought I was ugly. And you know, some people had told me that I was, and I, I thought this was a secret, and I thought I could hide it by like, you know, smiling on this side, and you know, whatever it was to kind of show that, um, kind of hide my insecurities. And I thought, well, if I smile like this, they won't notice this other thing about me that I think is ugly. Well, that's not how you fix yourself, because you know, if we're gonna hide all the things that are wrong with ourselves, um, from ourselves even, then we're not going to be able to fix them, right? If, if every time something breaks, we hide it, we can't fix it. So what I learned to do was, one thing is, um, first of all, to, to experience the beauty that's around me, to look around and see what it is that's beautiful around me that I can relate to. Because, you know, whatever that problem is that you're having inside, there's someone who is living exactly how you want to be problem or not and they're dealing with their own problems and if you could take a moment and look at someone with appreciation and see that you know this person looks like they're doing life really well if you could use that person as a role model and step into their shoes whether it's a beautiful girl that's walking down the street and say you know I want to walk with that kind of confidence or um, you know someone that went through a huge scandal and they're able to face it and they're able to take responsibility and you say I want to be able to show my face and like how can that person do that well step into that person's shoes a little bit and figure out what it is about them that's so strong or so beautiful or whatever it is that you need to be able to move on to the next step and I want you to take that thing and make it yours and use theirs until it is yours right so they say fake it till you make it um, fake it until it becomes you so if your secret is something that is tearing you apart let it go. Look back at it and see how you've changed now. See yourself through different eyes and know that back then you didn't have the information that you have now, but today you know me and you have the information you need to move forward. So whatever it is, whatever that secret or mistake or that thing is about yourself that you don't like, look at it from different eyes now and say, okay, whatever it is about this thing, it's not perfect, but now that I'm looking at it, I can improve it and take what's strong about you and make it stronger and take your weaknesses and make them stronger and if you need help with that of course i'm here for you but these videos are going to be all about how you can become stronger better and more amazing you because i think that everyone is great and everyone deserves to be happy and to enjoy their life and i know you have it in you and i know you've had happiness before but you're going to experience it more than you ever have i promise you that stay tuned Bye-bye. <laughs>